So, how's it going guys? Shade here, back with another video and today I'm bringing you my Fire King uh, deck profile. Um, this is a bit more of a slightly more budget friendly. Uh, we are not playing Wanted because Wanted is too expensive. I was also playing a bit with uh, Dogmatica engine but uh, the, e the extra deck lock is just too much. Uh, you really need to play heavy on uh, non-engine to make that engine work so uh, uh, I I don't I don't know I don't want to be even more heavy than what I have so uh, yeah uh, I don't feel like playing the dogmatic engine but yeah here's my take on the Fire King uh, deck profile so let's get into it uh, it's still very um, experimental but still um, let's look into it so of course as a Fire King engine. Triple Ponyx, Triple Arvata, Triple Kirin, Double Garonix, one Barong for our Fire King monsters. Really, really standard. Uh, Ponyx is uh, the main playmaker. It gets you to the island, and the island makes everything, uh, puts everything in rotation. Uh, Arvata is just really, really good, uh, especially to play around end traps. Uh, like Droll and Sudge, you can just normal summon it and you can play around and traps really really well with it. And and also can just be like an extender during your plays. Uh, you can just uh, pair it up for example with Ponyx and end on uh, SP setup as well as uh, the full uh, level 8 XC's um, plays. Uh, Kirin, uh, the same thing as Arvata actually, to, uh, it can help you play around Imperms, uh, it can help you uh, to extend your plays or even like go through boards because of the second effect where it when it's popped it special summons a monster uh, a fire king monster from your hand or grave and pops a card from your opponent non-target so it just removes really really easily uh, your opponent's cards uh, or just extends your play so i really like Kirin as well Veronix, um i was trying one and you really need the second one it's just, uh, if your opponent actually gets rid of your Garunix and you don't play the second one, it's just impossible uh, to win at that point. You need Garunix for your grind games, and yeah, this like loves to grind, so uh, yeah, you need access to Garunix. So play two, okay? Uh, it's really, really needed. I really, really tried to play it at one to see if I could fit, for example, Rang Bali, for example, to just have, for example, more ability to play um, against disruption on your opponents or just playing to boards better. Uh, but no, yeah, you need the second Garunix for sure. And then one Barong because it's needed in this version. Uh, some versions don't even play Barong, but this more uh, mid range grindier uh, version that I'm playing really really needs it and then we have the spells of course we have double sanct double islands double skyburn uh, I feel like skyburn is just so insane going into boards as well being able to also uh, dodge imperms going second and, and whatever while forcing your opponent's interactions really really nice um, island and uh, Sanct. Uh, island you don't really want to play it too because you don't want Island, you want Sanct to get you to Island. And I tried Triple Sanct but I feel like um, it's a bit breaky and when you need Sanct in play you already have it thanks to Ponix so uh, I feel like 2 is more than enough and yeah this is my Fire King engine. Um, then we have Two black witch, a trilla black witch, one um, sinf original sinful spoils. I'm not playing the one that's. This is the most expensive part of our deck. It's just these and the small snake eyes engine with three ash, one flamberge. Uh, yeah, not playing one that makes this deck like a bit less consistent than the other version, but you still have a good chance uh, to draw into black witch still gives you slim access, it still lets you uh, go into your snake eyes combos which are uh, really better than your normal um, f fire king combos, allows you to play without your normal summon sometimes, 
it's just really really nice uh, you can get uh, this engine that is right now on the board is like uh, 120 euros I think it's like 30 euros for the Black Witch I paid like 5 euros for the original Sinful Spoil um, and then Dash I feel like it's 1 euro and then Flamberg is 14 so 15 uh, and 95 it's like 110 for the engine really really nice uh, it is a bit expensive but you can play Dogmatic in here, it's just this gives your deck such a better like um, ceiling. It just makes your deck just steamroll super 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 easily if you get access to it. Um, then we play Triple Prosperity for Consistency and Double talents one call by for um dealing with end traps uh for example stopping ashes and or drolls just say uh, talents just like the second and third call by if you get end trapped you can just look at your opponents and at least stop them from playing or if you're pushing it to boards it's also really nice because you can steal your opponent's stuff for example or draw more so you can um, get the, uh, more engine to break boards or get non-engine which is really nice and prosperity is just consistency and then for non-engine um, I'm playing double Fenrir I don't have the third one uh, so I just I'm just playing two and it's nice going into boards and it's also good going first, but you want to typically typically use your first effect until the end of like the your turn because you don't really want to just get drooled at the start because of Fenrir. Uh, then we have Triple Ash, Triple Nev, Triple Imperm for uh, damn traps. And I just wanted really generic and really powerful and traps and just, just feel like these ones are the better right now. Uh, you could also play Droll main deck, I just feel like Nibiru is better because uh, it it's more decks, um, you know, because Droll hits harder, but Nibiru just hits more decks. And even if your opponent plays a deck that plays around Nibiru, uh, you still can get rid of some stuff if you activate Nibiru. Either by like just forcing, for example, a Baron negate, forcing out an Appaloosa negate or something. So uh, at least it has some uh, uses. And um, let's get into the X deck real quick. So for the Xs, it's pretty simple. You will play one Garunix Eternity uh, for your um, your plays. You mostly make this if you don't use it on a setup. Uh, going second because this is just insane to clear boards it's board wipe for monsters and can destroy spell traps uh with the other effect really really nice um then we have wanding gear so uh because it just gives you a protection to your whole board it gets rid of things without targeting really really nice um and we have the one typhon um against some decks it's just broken just an auto win sometimes uh, real, really insane card. Uh, then for the links, we play for the link ones, we play one All Mirage, one Link Revo. You could play Anima, I don't have any space for it. I feel like there's more important stuff to have in that extra deck. And Link Revo just helps you, like, give access to, uh, for example, Dark uh, for uh, Slim plays and gives you access, access to Heat Soul through some lines. And All Mirage is really needed. Uh, it's mandatory to play on Ratch. I would not cut it, um, at least if you're playing this uh, more grindier version uh, without the want this stuff that is not as, as combo heavy, you need it. Uh, you need it to make uh, the setups for uh, SP on your opponent turn and uh, yada yada yada. Uh, I really really like it. Uh, then we play the two Charmers, one Dark, one Hita. Um, just because Charmers are broken, you have access to two of them and two that are really really nice attributed uh fire at the very least can uh, play uh, even during your opponent's turn when your opponent ashes you or just fire is going to be the attribute uh this year so yeah it is really nice 
Then we play one IP, one SP uh, for link plays. Uh, you know, you can just IP summon SP during your opponent's turn, and so the IP turns into double interruption, just like that. And we mostly uh, put this together with the one Sunlight Wolf. Uh, you can ice P under Sunlight Wolf during your opponent's turn and just get even more resources from your grave. So you uh, loop something from your graveyard back to your hand on your turn, and then you IP and loop another card from your graveyard back to your uh, to your hand during your opponent's turn. Really, really nice. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll show you uh, the plays around. It's really, really uh, cool. Uh, Sunlight is like standard in this build, especially if you want to play the one hit soul. I feel like this is the one that I play the most because if you like um, prosperity, you can't draw. So most times if you go for prosperity, you just end up uh, banishing hit soul and not summoning it. Plus it doesn't guarantee interruption. So like sometimes it's a nice option uh, when you can go for it on top of your already established uh, disruptions. Uh, but if not, um, I don't really go into him that often, but it's a good option to have. Then we have the one Selene, one Access Code for uh, Access Code plays going second, of course, because we play Black Witch, it's really easy to get into it. And then we play the one Appalooza for um, your setup sometimes. Uh, you can go into it. Um, I'll explain the combos later. And the one under Rule Goddess, because I fear Purdly, there are Purdly players in my local, so I don't like to not have an answer to Purdly in either my extra deck or main deck. Um, then side deck, we have Triple Droll, Triple Bell. I feel like I've finally uh, got back to uh, Bell. I There was a moment where I didn't like Bell at all, but I feel like uh, Bell it's really nice and it's also really good against Labyrinth. Um, really, really good. Then we have Double Phantasme. Uh, in my uh, locals, there's a lot of like Phantom Knights, uh, Tri Brigades, and stuff. So uh, Phantasme comes up comes really, really nicely. Uh, mostly I'll just take out the Fenrir's and put this in going second, so if I join to them um, and my opponent Link plays, I just get to fix my hand so I'm more prepared to go into their board. I like it a lot. Uh, you ju I just need to take out the Fenrir's because if you special summon Phantasme, uh, Fenrir does not do anything because then you have a monster on the board and you can't Fenrir special. Um, then I have triple evenly, uh, one fair duster for going second and um, spell trap decks. Um, I just add that one spot where I didn't know what to play. Uh, I would prob probably take out the feather duster and play the one Kurikara uh, because you can search it off of your Snake Eyes engine if you already have Ponyx, so it could be good going, for example, into uh, Pearly. Uh, so I might get rid of Ferdas and put in Kurikara once my Kurikara arrives. And yeah, the last three cards are cross out because Droll kills us uh, most time. Ash on our island can very much end our turn and stop us from um, slowly grinding your opponent out. So I kind of like cross out. I'm still testing things out. Uh, but yeah, let's get into some combos. So, of course, I'm not gonna take too much time on the first combos because the first combos are like basic. You have the one card combo with Ponyx, so you're gonna normal summon Ponyx. It gets you. You search Sanctuary, you activate Sanctuary, Sanctuary gets the Highland from the deck. Then you go Highland, pop Ponyx. Search Garonix, Garonix effect special, Garonix effect to destroy. You want to destroy Barong, and you pass turn. During your opponent's standby, mandatory effect from Ponyx goes back to the hand. Mandatory effect from Barong, it searches a Fire King card from your deck. So you want to go into Kirin, 
And now, in response to any, if you if you have Grunix on the field, uh, you do it on response to your opponent's summon uh, when you want to uh, sanctuary them for uh, the Xyz play. So if your opponent activates an effect that special summons and you want to board wipe them, you go carry an effect, pop the Ponyx, and it will special summon. And now when their effect to special summon uh, activates um, in the next chain, you can go um, resolve them in, in, this, in this same chain. Next chain, you can Sanctuary and go into your Eternity, board wipe, and during your next standby phase, you get back Ponyx because it was destroyed with Kirin. So you start to like uh, slowly get some uh, grind game since the Ponyx, the one Ponyx you invested into this combo, gets back to you. Now let's do Ponyx plus one extender. I like to do Arvat. Arvat is the best to extend. So what you do is you normal some Ponyx and Ponyx gets you the Sanct, you activate Sanct, get Highland and before you activate Island, you want to link off Ponyx into the one Almirage, you want this specifically to be Fire and you go Island, pop Arvata, get Garunix and now you're gonna go Arvata chain link one, Garunix chain link two, so Garunix specials and Ponyx special summon is back. Garunix activates popping Barong. And now you can link these two off for high P. And you pass turn during your opponent's standby mandatory effect from Barong. You get Kirin. And now, how you play right here is, when you want to disrupt your opponent, you go Kirin Effect, you pop Hal Mirage, special, and because you popped Hal Mirage, Garunix activates in the grave, special, and Garunix can special, and you want to now pop um, Kirin. And depending on what's on your hand, you can and how you started. For example, if you started with Arvata, uh, one thing you can do is Kirin revive Arvata and pop a card of your opponent. So you have uh, IP, you have the Arvata gate, and you have Sanctuary setup. Uh, if you didn't go uh, through Arvata or you don't have another fire to pop for the negate, what you can do is you special summon Ponyx instead. And Ponyx activates its effect and gets you something for a next turn, which is Skyburn. And now during your opponent, uh, when your opponent uh, does something else and you want to disrupt, you can go IP, go into SP, another disruption on SP, another disruption to banish SP and another monster. And when your opponent, after all that, special summons again, you go Sanct, Overlay, Eternity, Board Wipe, and on the end phase you get the SP, you have Island, you have Skyburn for next turn, and yeah, this is the second combo. Um, let's show now the Itzel lines. So it's all lines. Um, let's do Ponyx plus Arvata. This does a po um, this does it's all an it's all line while protected from Nibiru because you summon back Arvata on the fifth summon. So you go normal summon Ponyx, get Sanct. You activate Sanct, which gets you Island, you link off Ponyx, as usual, get your Almirage, and you go Island Effect, pop, get Garunix, you go Garunix Chain Link 1, Arvata Chain Link 2, you always want to do Garunix Chain Link 1, I know I said opposite uh, after, but you just want to chain block Garunix, 
uh, because it's the more important one. It's the one that gets you like to your Barong search. Uh, so I would rather have Garonix go through than Arvata. So yeah, Garonix goes Shilink one. So Ponyx, uh, Ponyx gets back to the field and then Garonix specials, Garonix effect. You pop um, Kirin. So now you have one summon, two summons, um, th uh, three summons, four summons, and now with Kirin on the fifth summon, you go Arvata. I would probably do, yeah, do right here. So you, you don't never want to put under the extra monster zones because of obvious reasons, um, for example, Anima. So yeah. Um, then you want to link Garunix and Almirage. For Sunlight. And you link off Ponyx. For the one link Rebo. And Sunlight Wolf activates and gonna get to your hand. The one Kirin in the grave. And you have a Dark and Fire Cybers, so you can link off with Itzel. And of course, Itzel draws you one card during your turn. During your opponent's turn, you get another card. And at, at any time, you can go Arvata, uh, negate something, and you can, for example, pop Itzel or pop Kirin, depends on what you want to do um, with uh, Kirin. You could pop Kirin off of Arvata here, and that would trigger uh, Garunix, and you could special summon, um, trigger Kirin as well to special summon back Ponyx and pop a card. So you you then go Garunix effect, and you want to pop the Arvata that is in the field, and Arvata special summons back Kirin. So you have you draw two. You negated something, you popped something with Kirin. Uh, Ponyx actually also searches for something on summon, like Skyburn. And now, on top of one gate, double draw, search for Skyburn, and one pop. So we have two interruptions and two draws. We Sanctuary again and pop the whole field. So three interruptions, two draws, one surge. And stand by phase next turn, Ponyx comes back because you popped it with Eternity. Really nice. Uh, now let's get into the Snake Eyes portion of the video. It's just really, really easily. You just want to get um, the Witch. You need which and one random. So let's get a random here. And how you do this is you discard a random to summon which. It doesn't activate, it's not effect. And then you go which. Which effect. It's gonna get you the snake eye, sinful spoils original, and you set, then you activate and you send which. And you want to special summon Ash. And you go Ash effect, search Ponyx. Your normal Ponyx effect, search Sanct. You activate Sanct and get Island. And right now, you want to go Ash, send Sanct. Special Flamberge. And if you're going second, you can use Flamberge to put a monster your opponent controls uh, in their spell and trap zone. Or if your opponent ant trap you, you can put the ant trap in the spell and trap zone. So now your opponent can't imperm your plays going on from this. They can't evenly match because they control a card face up. So yeah, that's really nice to do. So if your opponent has ant trapped you right here, you can absolutely uh, make them enable from imperming slash uh, evenly match you. Really, really cool. And now that we are here, we can go Island, Pop Ponyx, 
search Garonix, Garonix if specials, Garonix effect, pop barong from the deck. And you can link these two off. Sunlight. Flamberge effect, so you're gonna special summon back the two level ones. And since you special summon back under um, Sunlight, you get to add back to your hand uh, the one Flamberge because it's a fire monster. So you get Flamberge back to your hand. And now you can link these two off for IP. And this is where you end your, tur your turn. Next standby phase, we pop the Barong. So we get to search for Kirin. And now what you can do is during your opponent's turn, you want to interrupt them. You go Kirin, pop Flamberge special. And now you can trigger both Flamberge and Garonix. So Garonix specials and Flamberge gets two on the field. And I go chain link one, chain link two, chain link three. And if your opponent has no responses, you can chain link for IP. So IP here has some options. You can go into Appalooza for three uh, or four even, uh, depends on what you want. You can go for Appalooza for three. What I like to do here is uh, depending on what I'm playing against, because you're on your opponent's turn, you have knowledge on what your opponent is playing, um, you most probably want um, to go for Appaloosa most times. If your opponent's deck doesn't play into Appaloosa, you just go for um, an SP. So you make an Appaloosa, uh, let me just get the Dices. So this is a 3 material Appaloosa and then the challenge 3 was Garonix, which you are going to do to pop. Uh, we can pop Kirin from the field, we don't have uh, Sanctuary, so popping Kirin from the field instead of the deck helps us manage our resources. So we pop from the field and then we have the two searches left, which are going to be Skyburn and one Ponyx. And now you have uh, chain link one sunlight because you summon something where, where it points to and you can uh, cure an effect to special summon something and here depends on what's on your graveyard uh, you can get if you have an arvata in your graveyard you can get arvata to your field and you have another interruption but here i would most probably uh, just get anything to the field uh, could be a uh, barong so that in case my opponent destroys it with an effect, uh, it can be an extra disruption. Uh, so you special Barong and you pop another card from your opponent and the Sunlight Wolf adds back Flamberge for next turn, which you probably, with these three cards already, by itself you already have like an OTK setup. So, you popped something from your opponent with Kirin, uh, we got tons of draws, uh, pl plus we, we got, um, not draw searches, plus we got Flamberge back to our hand, we have a three uh, material Appaloosa, and we have all these monsters on the board, so most probably your opponent, um, this is more than enough to end, handle your opponent, and remember you have another three cards in your hand, uh, you have another three cards in your hand, so you most probably have an engine as well, uh, which is basically killer. Uh, this combo just basically kills, and if your opponent's deck uh, doesn't care much about the Palooza, uh, instead of a Palooza you can like make SP and keep either the Hash or the Ponyx on field, could be either one. So your end board would look like this or like this depends on what your opponent's playing what you reckon is the best choice and you have OTK next turn because uh, let's say your opponent destroys everything else here just so I can show from zero how this is an OTK by itself um, basically uh, we will go island 
pop flamberge and we are going to search where is it one arvata because we still have another two or three in the deck and now we have two triggers you we have flamberge and we have garunix so garunix gets back and we also get the two level ones so now you can get another search off of all of them another from ponix and another from ash so we already search for um for the skyburn so we can get the second sanctuary and we can get another ponix because i don't play another fire level one so we can only search ponix from here and what runix will do is pop a second Kirin in your deck and Kirin activates special summon and pop something and your fifth summon is going to be Arvata and you have double Ponyx in hand so you are protected from Nibiru here and you can of course just link off for uh, Hira or for example you can link with Link Rebo and get um, e either um, Right now, you have an option, you can like link Rio back uh, this Ponyx and you can either go into Ira or Dark, depends on your opponent's grave. Um, you probably would, uh, since I summoned the Ponyx over here, I would probably do it with Ash so that um, you have still uh, this loan, uh, this zone um usable you want to keep garonix because garonix is like 4k right now it's 3900 so you special summon something back you have which so you just link of slim slim gets back which because you have tons of spells you have one two three exactly and we go for access code and we are protected from um the bureau and if your opponent in the middle of this try to do something we still have skyburn uh, we still have these all of these in your hand uh so yeah this is just game overall this this is like nine thousand damage over here eleven thousand damage almost yeah eleven this is eleven thousand damage over here and of course you have skyburn so if your opponent uh, like um, do, if your opponent still has cards, for example, like set in the middle of the battle phase, you can like Skyburn with Arvata, and Arvata then gets back the Kirin, uh, so you have even more damage. It's just game, you know. In this deck with uh, once it gets rolling, uh, it, it's just unstoppable. The amount of resources it just keeps giving you every turn it's absolutely insane it, it grinds super well and that's why i love this deck a lot and i've been uh, play testing it right now um the since i'm just waiting for like populace and bonfire to come out i really um hope uh bonfire becomes cheaper uh once millennia um releases i really do uh if it goes down to 40 i'll accept it but uh, man, it's really getting expensive. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like down below if you did. Comment if you had any questions or suggestions for me. Subscribe to never miss any of my future videos. And that's going to be it, guys. I'll see you next time.